been a, a steep learning curve for all of us. You know, this time a year ago, we were we still hadn't started racing in the America's Cup actually, so it's easy to forget that for us guys that have been um, flat out with this boat. So it's we started later part of last year. The guys had um, a really busy build period because we had we were shut down for a little while with the lockdown. Um, we delivered it to the base over here at the VEC at the end of the year and, and we've been into this fit out period for the first part of this year. So all the powertrain components in, the cooling circuit is underway. Um, sort of two, three weeks from now we'll be starting to run the boat up out on the courtyard for the first time. And then, you know, early to mid-March we'll be looking to put the boat in the water and, and start the in the water testing. About 10 metres long, uh, we've got a weight of about 5.2 tonnes. Top speed somewhere around 50 knots is what we're aiming for. In a sense, this isn't too much different to like what we did with the, the 35 last time where that hadn't been done before, uh, foiling monohull like we did. And I think that's where Team New Zealand's certainly pretty strong is making these what seem like impossible tasks happen and yeah, happen to the highest level. You know, we can try and push a little bit of change in, in the marine sector by introducing this hydrogen powertrain be the first of its kind in New Zealand and one of the first in the world so it's something we're really proud of and proud of the Kiwi contingent. You know we had um, AF Cryo early on, they did a feasibility study for us and then introduced us to Global Bus Ventures so they've been our like our system integrators on this project working with, with ourselves, our mechatronics team and Toyota to, to come up with this system architecture for the hydrogen powertrain and um, it's just a project we are immensely proud of.